Imagine how much your life would change if you decided to just go for it. If you stopped waiting for outside confirmation and took your leap of faith. If you gave yourself a chance to learn from failure instead of running away from discomfort and unfamiliarity. Focus on what you can control. Why? Because when you do, you ground yourself in the present. You pull yourself back into a more mindful space. You empower yourself to think constructively. You force yourself to stop ruminating. You take your power back. Do not let your empathy for others drain you to the point that you no longer have the capacity to show up for yourself. Your new life will cost you. It'll cost you your old life. It'll cost you the people you had hoped to bring with you and the distractions that numb the pain. But your new life will be worth the investment. It'll meet you outside your comfort zone in a world that makes space for your growth. Bet on yourself. Choose faith over fear. Take calculated risks and trust that you'll find a way to come out on top. Ask the right people for their insight, but give yourself the final word. You got this. Be kind to yourself today. Remember that the anxious voice in your head is just a voice. Create space for things that make you happy. Try to make sure your intentional, your internal monologue is rooted in love. You deserve to be handled with care. Don't let people gaslight you into accepting repeated mistreatment because that's just how the world works. You deserve so much more. If only you knew how powerful you'd become once you stop waiting for others to confirm what you already know is true. Happiness takes work. Success takes work. Love takes work. Like takes work. Get clear on the type of life that you think is worth living and do the work. Remember, social media can be a distraction or a tool or a mood board or a resume or a catalyst, or an escape. Get clear on why you're spending your time on these platforms. Let's get better at letting go of grudges, of resentment, of expired goals, of outdated beliefs, of everything that is getting in the way of our healing and happiness. Forgive yourself today for every moment when you convince yourself that it was your responsibility to disprove the lies that strangers told about you. Forgive yourself for every moment when you chose to burden yourself with the weight of other people's assumptions. There's nothing wrong with taking an unconventional path. There's nothing wrong with moving at your own pace. There's nothing wrong with choosing what's best for you, even if it's unpopular. Honor your journey today, not other people's opinions. You are in the right place at the right time. This is where you're supposed to be. Be ready to receive the blessings that are waiting for you. Believe in yourself. Trust yourself. Believe that you'll overcome every obstacle in your path. Release all limiting beliefs that would stop you from growing into the person you are meant to be. Show up for yourself today. Give yourself consistency that you deserve. Get excited to see how habits shape your future. Sometimes all you can really do is take life one day, one hour, one minute at a time. You can't change the past or predict the future, but you can make the most of the moment that's right in front of you, right now. Tap in. If you build it right, you only have to build it once. So be patient with yourself. Take things one step at a time. Stop trying to expedite your lifelong calling. Heal so you can love more deeply. Heal so you can live more abundantly. Heal so you can express yourself freely. Heal so you can see the light that has always been inside of you. Sending love to everybody who is fighting their way out of a cycle of overthinking, paralysis, and regret. Sending love to everybody who is ready to escape the prison of perfectionism. I like to say, I am in control of how I show up. I am in control on what I focus on. I am in control of how I react. I am in control of myself. I hope this week is everything you need it to be. I hope you find the answers you've been searching for. I hope your blessings come right on time. I hope that by this time, 
when the week is over, you realize that you had nothing to worry about in the first place. Please try to celebrate yourself as often as you critique yourself. You don't need the tough love we grew up with. You need to heal from that. You can be kind to yourself while holding yourself accountable. Do you hear that sound? Do you hear it? That's the universe aggressively, forcefully, intentionally cheering you on. Be well.